everybody, I'm Mika Sherelle, and welcome to your Safe Sex Survival Kit, Survival Kit 101. So, we're going to be talking today about all of the things that you want to have in your Safe Sex Survival Kit so that you are prepared for either a fun night out, a, you know, perhaps that special date with someone after you've gotten to know them, or however it is that you enjoy your play. So, to go over a few items, there are some basics, and then there are some things that you may not have known about. First off, this is super important. I want to make sure that I cannot emphasize this enough. Always carry condoms. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, on the spectrum, off the spectrum, wherever you fall. If you are out and about or dating someone and you want to be intimate with them, make sure you have a condom. Don't rely on the other person to take that action and protect your personal space. Um, other thing, for those out there who do not tend to have sex with men, these are also great for covering your toys, making sure that if you're sharing a toy with a partner that it's, you know, got a sterile, new, safe, sanitary environment right there, fresh and personal for you. Also, single use only. Um, the other thing I can't emphasize enough, have more than one. Because, like, no one wants to get halfway through their fun and enjoyment and be like, ooh, we have to stop because of a technicality. So, have more than one in your kit and make sure you enjoy your fun. I do want to spend some time talking about something that people don't tend to use. This is the female condom, F2C. You can find these in probably drugstores, definitely at your local clinic. Um, have some of these with you, especially for men, if you don't like the restriction of the condom on your penis. This is non-restrictive. It's good for any size. Um, great for pleasure. It's inserted into the vagina, so, you know. It's plenty of room for stimulation and play no matter what your size is. Go. Um, oh, also another note, these can, just standard condoms, extend the duration of a man's pleasure or the ability to last during sex. Um, okay, so item number two, this one is super, super important. And it's so funny how many people are like, what do you, what do you use those for? My absolute, one of my absolute favorites, gloves. You can't quite tell in there. Let me pull out a fresh one. Gloves, standard exam gloves. These are nit nitrile, which means they are latex free. Uh, if you, which also makes them hypoallergenic. You want to make sure you have a set of these with you, one for each hand. Who knows where your fingers might roam. So, <laughs> um, love to have gloves. And also the inside of the body, it's very important that we keep it uh, safe, we keep it clean, it flushes itself. We touch so many things in a day. Germs get all over our hands, everywhere, and we don't want to put that inside of our bodies or inside of our partner's bodies. So make sure you're washing your hands, and if you're out and about and you want to have a fun little tryst with them, have some gloves handy. Okay, uh, the next thing that I want to talk with you about is the importance of lubricant. Lubricant can save a night of pleasure. Maybe you aren't as hydrated as you thought you were, or maybe you've been going for a while and you just need a little extra moisture to keep things happening. Um, lubricant is great because it can reduce the risk of tearing during intercourse. Um, it can make the entire sensation of pleasure more achievable. Um, and it can also enhance some of the use of these other fun products. So like your standard condom, take a little lube, put it in the tip. The condom will move around a lot easier on the penis. It'll increase and enhance stimulation for him and for her. You can also do that inside of the female condom. And um, one of the most important and fun things that I'm actually moving to next is item number four, the dental dam. So I went out and I looked and I looked and I looked for you all and I could not find a dental dam in the stores. I know I've seen them. I will have some, I promise. However, I'm going to show you how to have your own makeshift dental dam. So 
First off, the importance of dental dams. These are used for any type of oral, vaginal, oral, anal, oral, any other body part stimulation. So if you're going to put your mouth on it, you probably want a dental dam. So we are using for this case, this first case, good old fashioned standard, oh, plastic wrap. There we go. So you want to make sure it's sterile, fresh off the roll, brand new. Tear yourself a nice piece. And what you would do is you would take this lovely thin sheet of plastic and you would place it over your partner's private areas, wherever you're planning on not exchanging fluids. Um, to make this work even easier, I recommend taking your lubricant, taking a small dot, putting it on the inside of your dam, and then you take that and you gently lay it and spread it across whatever body part you plan on stimulating. In this case, I'm just going to put it on top of my hand here, and you can see the beauty is now it sticks. You don't have to worry about it balling up, bunching, falling away, and you can stimulate right through the surface of the item. There you go. Okay. Um, also, for lube, I got these cute little packs. These are great. Put in the wallet, back pocket, uh, keep them in your purse. Fun. Pop the top off. Single use. Grab and go. Okay, um, so we talked about dental dams, we talked about gloves. Ah, dental dam demo number two. This is great if you're not really into the whole like pulling out the saran wrap, going into the kitchen, fishing through some things. We go back to the handy dandy trusty glove. Again, another reason I love these is because they're super, super versatile. So what you want to do with your gloves, you want to take a pair of scissors and you just cut. I usually like to cut down the back side where the pinky is. You make a snip and then you can go ahead and split it open. And then I go ahead and remove the fingers. Go. And I leave the thumb. I'll show you why in a minute. Go. Oh. Okay, so now we have another version of a dental dam. This one, nitrile. So again, sterile, especially on the inside, fresh out of the package. Um, and you have, again, a nice thin sheet, thin surface to stimulate through pleasure, however you want to do it. So we would take this again for this. I left the thumb hole intentionally because now you have the option of both oral and, and penetration pleasure. So what I would do is on the side where the thumb hole is, place a little bit of lubricant on the outside, lay it across your partner's area, erogenous zone, and now you can use the finger for internal stimulation as well. All right. Uh, so the last thing as we wrap up our Safe Sex Survival Kit video is I want to talk about hygiene. Hygiene is super important. Before sex, after sex, all the things you do, you want to make sure that your body and your ecosystem is top notch. So these are a little thing called swipes. You can get them at swipes.com. It's a handy little uh, loving wipe. Fresh water, chlorine free, completely disposable, completely flushable, and it allows you to like carry it around in your purse. Make sure you've got a little wipe before, a little wipe after, or wherever you like to carry things. Um, and you get to stay fresh. Um, the other tip for hygiene always, after you've had any type of intercourse or pleasure stimulation of the genitals, urinate. Go try, have a pee. Um, what this does is because your urine is sterile, it will flush all of the new bacteria and things that have found their way into your system right on out, keep you from getting infections or bacterial buildup, things of that nature, and it'll keep your system nice and clean and fresh. So uh, I recommend that for men, women, Again, anyone in between, wherever you fall uh, or don't fall on the spectrum. The last most important thing that you want to have in your safe sex kit is your mouth. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, please, ladies, gentlemen, everyone in between, everyone who doesn't care about the spectrum, whoever you are, if you are out and you're having sex and you're enjoying your life, 
always make sure you use your voice. The important thing about using your voice in these conversations is you can negotiate things. First off, if you're going to have a partner and you have not had, you know, you haven't been tested, do not fluid bond. Do not fluid bond until you know that your system is a proper and appropriate match with your partner's system. Um, I will go ahead and post another video on fluid bonding for those of you who aren't quite sure what I'm talking about. Um, however, that's something to discuss whether or not it's something you actually want to do before you just kind of end up in that situation. Um, so discussing your sexual history, your partners, any STDs that you may have or may have had, um, and your experience with those as well. Because like maybe you have something and your partner has it too. And then you two can share that and relieve some of the stigma that comes up with like, what do I say? I don't want them to know. So make sure you're using your mouth. Um, consent is huge. Maybe there's something you really like. Maybe there's something you really don't like. Make sure that you have consent between you and, you and your partner before you move on to any particular act. Um, pleasure negotiating. Again, we will post a video. Actually, we're doing our podcast. Uh, we'll have an episode on pleasure negotiations and the full run of it, so do check that out. Um, but we definitely want to make sure that when we are intimate with a partner, when we're going to be in that space of love and connectedness, that we actually know what they want and what we want. And we are allowed to really create that together. Um, okay, so that is it for the Sex Safe Survival Toolkit. That is a whole uh, five items plus a couple of instructions just to keep your system clean. Uh, please check out more of our videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel. All the safe sex information coming from yours truly, Nika Shirell.